I'm riding solo today, but we're pulling up to the shop and we're pretty much going to be doing what we did last week, pulling off all of the old parts, cleaning them up, making them look nice, and then throwing them onto the new short block. I am going to be answering a couple of comments that I saw in the last video, and also the heads are at the machine shop now. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but we do have an update on those, so when we get to the shop, we'll have Javi kind of explain what's going on with those. We also got a package from Killer Bee. I already opened it, but I'll show you guys what we got when we go inside. Also very excited because I think we finally decided on a color for the intake manifold. We're also going to be doing the AOS and then maybe a couple other things. I definitely don't want to go overboard with it because I feel like when it comes to the engine bay, less is definitely more. I think maybe today we'll strip the intake manifold down and have it ready so that we can send it over to the powder coat shop. So inside the Killer Bee box, we got the brand new Killer Bee oil pickup. A lot of people recommended this, so I got it. And we also got the Killer Bee baffle. Also another thing everyone recommended. Uh, we ended up not doing the Killer Bee oil pan because I saw a lot of you guys' comments saying that it would just make for more expensive oil changes. I also talked to Javi about it and we thought that it might just be overkill since I'm not really tracking the car right now. It doesn't make sense to get the bigger oil pan. So we're gonna be using the OEM one. That's gonna be our first project today is removing the old one and throwing it on the new sharp block. We got all of the bolts out. So now what we're gonna do is take this spatula here, little hammer, and just kind of slowly start prying this off. I already got this side done. Now we need to do this side and it should come right off. There it is guys, oil pan is off. All right guys, take a good look at this because it's not gonna look like this any longer. We're gonna get this thing nice and clean and hopefully make it look brand new. Since I'm alone, it's gonna be a lot of time lapses, so I hope you're okay with that. There we go, oil pan is all cleaned up. This is as good as I'm gonna get it. All of this stuff down here is just a bunch of scratches that obviously will not come off, but it looks pretty good. When I took off the oil pan off the OEM block, I was asking Javi, what if it maybe already has like a killer bee setup? And I didn't even check it till now, Javi called me over and we walked over to the old block and sure enough, it already had a killer bee baffle and pickup. You could see the stamp right there. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, we're still gonna install the new pickup and the new baffle since we have them here anyway. This also doesn't come with new bolts or anything like that, so we have to pull the bolts off of the old baffle and the old pickup and then bring them over here and install all of the new parts. Here's a closer look at what was already on the car. As you can see, same exact thing. This one has a different stamp, but that's about it. Killer B. Killer B right there. Pickup is exactly the same as well. So baffle goes on first, just like that, and then the pickup will go on top of it. This is the brand new oil pickup. Looks super nice. Don't forget your O-ring though, so we're gonna put that right on top of there. And now we're good to bolt it on. And this one just goes right on top of here. Just like that. Line these up.
baffle and the pickup on, those are all torqued down. Next up, we're gonna be doing the oil pan. And like Javi said, there's an O-ring that goes around this little tube right here. And this was literally turned into plastic. It wasn't rubber anymore. But Javi said that there might be a new one in the gasket kit that I ordered. So we're gonna replace that. Oil pan has silicone all around it now. Time to put it on. And the gasket's on there. I don't know if I told you guys, but the torque specs for all of this are right here. So the baffle was 57 inch pounds, pickup was 86 inch pounds, and then the oil pen we're gonna do to 44 inch pounds. Oil pan is on. I double checked every single bolt, make sure it's all torqued down. So we are good to go on this. Officially done with that. Today has kind of felt like we really haven't done a whole lot, but like Javi said, when you're putting stuff back together and you're assembling it, it takes a lot longer. Not only because you have to sit here and clean parts, but you also gotta look up torque specs and all that stuff. But honestly, with Javi being here, it makes things a lot quicker than if I was doing it myself. So shout out to him. Thanks, Javi. Okay. Next up is this small little plug here. We pulled this off of the old block and we're gonna torque this down right in here. That way we can align the oil cooler and then torque that down as well. I know I'm super obsessed and I keep talking about it, but I have never seen the engine this clean before. So, you know, I'm kinda, kinda in love with it right now. There's that, check out how clean everything is looking, guys. Next week, I keep forgetting to bring them, but next week I do have uh, new motor mounts that we're gonna be installing, so Hopefully I don't forget them for next week. This thing is really coming together. I know we have so much more work to do, but it's looking good so far. And just to answer some of you guys' comments in the last video, pulleys, timing belt, all that stuff was done at 115,000 miles. The car currently has around 130. So all of these pulleys and timing belt have roughly around 15,000 miles. So no, I am not gonna replace that. Same thing with the water pump, that was also done with the timing belt. To answer one of you guys' questions, yes, there is a gasket on the water pump. For the oil cooler, I saw a lot of comments on this. I didn't spin a bearing or anything like that, and we didn't see any metal shavings in the oil, so I don't think we need to replace that, right Javi? No, it should be good. Cool. Javi was telling me that the heads should be done hopefully Monday or Tuesday, which means that next week when we come back to Javi's shop, we should be throwing the heads back on. I also didn't get enough time today to strip the intake manifold, but hopefully we can get that done next week so we can send that out to powder coating. Like I said, it is a slower process putting everything back together, but I'm really enjoying it and I'm learning a lot. So anyways, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.